Question seven, then, is really another gift of a question. Even if you didn't get full marks for this question, hopefully you managed to come away with some of the method marks, especially given that the formula you need here, really, for the volume of a sphere is in the formula booklet. So in part A, calculate the volume. Well, we're just going to consult the formula booklet for the formula, which is going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then we are going to substitute in the radius, which we know is 6. And if we do that, we're going to get a volume which is equal to 904.8 centimetres cubed. So that should be a guaranteed two marks. Part B then a little bit harder, but you should be able to come away with something from this. We're told that the volume increases by 40%. So we should recognise that an increase of 40% is the same as multiplying by 1.4. So if we do 1.4 times our answer up here, one, in part A, 1.4 times 904.8, that's going to give us a new volume of 1,266.69. So we now know that that's the volume of the balloon once it's been increased by 40%, and we're asked to find the radius. So we don't know what the radius is, but we can set that volume of 1,266.69 equal to... 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then because we've only got one variable here, we can just solve that for r. So uh, we can multiply uh, both sides by 3. So we're going to have 3 multiplied by 1,266.69. And we're going to divide that by this 4 pi here. So we're going to divide that by 4 pi. And that's going to give us a value for r cubed, which works out at 302.4. So if we therefore take the cubed root of 302.4, we end up with an answer of 6.71 centimetres.